Dave Nussbaum in the Storm Team Weather Center tracking a cold night tonight. Cold yes. night, Dave. What's in store? <laughs> Heat is back on in the home yes, tonight. Birdies. Maybe the extra blanket on the bed. Yeah, it's going to be a little frosty tomorrow morning for you early risers heading to work and the kids going to school. Right now, live look from Hoover at our high Regency camera here. Mostly clear sky right now and temperatures coming in 49 degrees. Not too bad yet, but they will continue to tumble as we go throughout the night. We're at 44 in Birmingham, 39 in Talladega, Innocent, 38, 37 in Gadsden. Uh, Aniana's at 47. Coleman's still reporting 52. That might be a little bit older report there coming in, but Jasper at 43, 47, Tuscaloosa to Moundville, back to Demopolis. And overnight tonight, we'll drop down around 36 degrees here in Birmingham. Clear cold. Yes, there'll be some frost out there as those winds will calm down around the area. We're looking at lows around 36 degrees. Alabaster and Clanton as well. Talladega just above freezing at 33 with 34 gats into Asheville. Coleman area back into Jasper. So definitely quite cold out there, but Actually, it's about what it's supposed to be temperature wise this time of year. Remember, it is still the middle of winter. Now, after the cold, frosty morning, we'll see plentiful sunshine tomorrow. Temperatures warming up to the lower 60s. Not too bad out there. 63 here in Birmingham, Alabaster area around as well. 65 degrees for you over to Tuscaloosa. Fade to Jasper, St. for at 64, Asheville, Anderson, Alex City all coming in around 63 degrees. So we do have the quiet weather pattern right now, and it's going to stay that way. It's our system over the weekend now work its way off into the Bahamas here. High pressure off to our west is going to be building across the area too. And you can see the big storm system out here to the west, uh, bringing all kinds of flooding rains to LA, even some rain out in Las Vegas. That system itself isn't going to come here, but notice the flow here coming up from the southwest of that. That is actually what we're going to start to see. Remember I talked about a couple weeks ago, you get that southwest weather pattern flow here, and that allows us to get rain to be building back in. As we go throughout the week, we will see this eventually return that southwest flow and it's going to be pretty soggy for a couple of days here. Not in the short term. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be dry with some sunshine, but as we get to the weekend, that chance of rain right now upping to at least 60% here going into Monday as well too, and we could pick up potentially across the area, maybe two, two and a half to three inches of rain in spots. So yes, we're talking about a lot more rain heading our way. So basically we're going to be wiping out the drought if we get another two inches or so of rain on top of what we've had just the last couple of weeks. So here's how it looks on Friday. Friday morning, couple of showers. It's all thanks to a front kind of working its way in the area and stalling over us. Friday afternoon into overnight into Saturday morning. We're dealing with rain, lots of rain Saturday afternoon as well, too. That front kind of lingers to the south, but be close enough here that a little disturbances will ride along it going into Sunday into Monday, and that's going to keep wet weather in the forecast through Monday, potentially into Tuesday as well, too. So we do have the next couple of days here looking pretty soggy out there, I should say, toward the end of the week. In the next couple of days, though, the weather is good. A lot of sunshine, lower to middle 60s out there, lows in the 30s and 40s. Then as we get to the weekend, this will just be rain, no severe weather, but it can't rule out a couple claps of thunder. High temperatures will be in the mid 60s and lows will be down into the middle 50s.